It's time for me to bring up a very important issue that I'm sure we can all relate to. This video is called... Masturbation. How bad is it? First off, let's try and find out why people do it. Females mainly do it for the occasional pleasure they need when the man simply won't get the job done. And with such a wide selection of oils, toys, and other funky stuff, the ladies never get bored. Whereas with males, it's a little bit more complicated. You see, at puberty, boys stop pissing in their beds and start getting random boners. This, combined with very graphic dreams generated from watching all dad's porn, created a recipe for young lust. Unfortunately, sex is out of the question when you're 11 years old, but you always got two hands that are perfectly willing to fulfill your every command. Another factor is stress. Whether the stress is positive or negative, any kind of tension or excitement will cause the male body to, for some reason, start producing semen at around 100 times the regular rate. To prevent a severe case of blue balls, most guys choose to blow off their steam by engaging in sex, sports, or other fun activities. But when you're a 250 pound preteen who enjoys nothing more than sitting in his basement, eating Twinkies and playing Call of Duty, these are all seen as impossible tasks. And so, with the boys' hands being the strongest parts of their body, they begin to demonstrate their own brand of pumping iron, if you know what I mean. So, we now know why people do it, which seems perfectly understandable. But we're still too ashamed to accept this as a normal part of life, like bowel movements. So what is so bad about self-gratification besides the mess every now and then? Well, some people say, <laughs> Well, as long as everyone washes their hands and squirts with hand sanitizer on a regular basis, passing AIDS from dead babies on your hands should not be an issue. Others say, Well, it's a sin to touch your penis with your hands. My Bible said so. Wrong! In Genesis 38, verse 8 to 10, a man named Onan is supposed to fulfill the promise made to his dead brother by sleeping with his brother's wife to bear him a son. However, it appears Onan just wanted the girl, not the kid. So every time they did it, he did what is now known as pulling out and then jerked it all over the ground. God saw this as a selfish sin and killed him. That is the only verse in the Bible that even remotely references masturbation. So don't worry kids, you're not going to hell. Still not convinced? Let's say this old creepy guy is walking through your neighborhood and he's really stressed out and really horny. There's little girls running around everywhere, and one of them is your daughter. Now this man could either go rape one of these poor little girls and steal your daughter's innocence, or he could go into that abandoned car over there and jerk it out to blow off some steam guilt-free at no one's expense. Well, almost. If masturbation is the only thing stopping that man from raping your kid, is anyone going to seriously sit him down and tell him what he is doing is wrong? I think not. Any further questions you may have, just ask the crackhead.